You've got a limited slip dip, haven't you? Most people in life live by the old saying of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, filming with cars and all sort of automotive things for a job seems to eradicate that notion from my life and from my friends' lives who also do the same thing. My friend Hampshire Photo, or Luke as I know him, is no exception to this rule with his very striking M140i art car. Now it has become a common theme on my YouTube channel to sort of feature things that split opinions massively, whether that be with my 760Li, which I straight piped. Half of you love it, half of you absolutely hate it. I feel like this car is gonna have the same sort of effect and therefore deserves its own video on my channel. So to the untrained eye, this may just look like Luke has, I dare say it, let a nine-year-old loose with his car and some crayons, and just done what they wanted. However, I say art car because there is uh, a big and actually really cool inspiration behind this wrap. It is a wrap, of course, it can be reverted. And so we're gonna talk about that, but also this car is not standard when you look under the bonnet as well. It is running, well, near as makes no difference, 500 a brake horsepower, which is absolutely ridiculous. More power than my 760 Li has, however, probably almost half the bloody weight and length. So the plan for today then is we're gonna take the M140i out on the road, chat to Luke about what the bloody hell he was thinking and have a little chat about, well, I wanna hear what you guys think about this car. Also, why on earth Luke has done it. And also I'll let you know my thoughts as well because they might not be what you think. But before we do go out in the car, do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're one of the 80% of my viewers who are not subscribed. Then please do go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you do not miss any of my additional uploads like this when I decide to sporadically put one out there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling now. Let's get Luke on camera. Let's go out in the car and have a bit of bloody fun. M140i art car, is that right? Hello, mate. That? Yeah, well, it's not really an official art car. No, it's inspired, it's just, um, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically a replica of the original 75 art car, the first art car, actually. Okay, so yeah, so guys, for those of you that uh, have been living under a rock, this is Luke from Hampshire Photo. Yeah. Um, he has his own YouTube channel, of course, and... <laughs> seen it on my channel. <laughs> so you've got a limited slip dip, haven't you? Yeah, I do. Oh my God. And uh, I said in the intro, I don't know if it's complete right, but you, you told me that this is now basically running 500 horsepower. Yeah, give, give or take. It, it dynoed at 495, but... <sighs> Near as makes no difference. It doesn't right. sound as good, does it, mate? That's unbelievable. Um, that's, it feels like 500 yeah. horsepower, that's for sure. It's basically thanks to um, a water meth kit which has been fitted. Okay. So that little LED there, yeah. it's obviously green at the moment. If I were to put my foot down, then it would kind of go brighter to show that it's working, so. Meth injection? Yeah, meth injection, yeah, basically. But yeah, it's... Uh, Have it, you noticed the difference from what it Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. If I unplug it, you'll notice. Wow. It's kind of the, in between the gears, it notices the most. Right. to know from from my channel how you guys receive it because your your channel you're slightly larger channel than mine and you had a lot of comments obviously when you revealed this car it was a little while back so mm. some of you may have seen it already what was the what was the consensus was it on um, side or the people who like it i feel kind of understand the reason behind it okay the people who don't i 
thing probably think that it's just a random assortment of colours which has <laughs> just happened to be on the car. Yes. I mean, I'm not, I know not everyone's going to like it, but I just thought it was different and I thought, you know what, well, why not? Yeah, no, I mean, from my perspective, um, obviously I know you, so I, and you've mm. just explained why you've done it. I think it's really cool. Mm. I think um, there's a lot of these cars on the road, right? So this is one yeah. way of really differentiating it from another. And of course, with the YouTube channel, it's a good thing for critics yeah. to have a car yeah. that looks like this. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So we understand that. But I think, yeah, I think because it's inspired by something like you say when you grew up, you, you saw. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. I mean, when I get an M6 one day, yeah. I want to wrap that in sort of the BMW F1 livery of the day. Yes. And that, that's yes. like my thing, really, with that. So I totally get it. Mm. And I have to say, guys, in person, because I've seen, this is the first one I've seen, it, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, On yeah. photos, it, it looks striking, right? But in person, it does make more sense, as cliche as that sounds. Mm. It, I, I think it looks really good. And what I didn't realise so much is that there's actually a large difference in the colours. Yeah. Because on, on that side, there's basically no blue. It's just like red, yeah, exactly, and, red yeah. and yellow. I think I prefer this side, personally. The red and yellow look really cool. Yeah. Actually. Actually. And it's a really orangey red. Yeah, it is, yeah. Which yeah, you which... don't see in photos either. Exactly, yeah. And it looks, it looks great. I really like it, mate. <laughs> Thank you very I much. I think it's cool. <laughs> It doesn't feel rear wheel drive the way it just picks up and, and goes. It's like the it's, LSD, really. So, yeah, so, and obviously that nice slot slide you did earlier. <laughs> what slide don't we on about? Uh, <laughs> it's in the video now, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> My MT40, I wouldn't do that. It just mm. obviously, because that's one thing with these cars, I say, you know, have you ruined it? Well, no, I think LSD. I mean, to be honest, my, my view on the LSD, especially with the 240, is, well, I'm just buying M2. Mm. But, clearly, that makes a massive difference to the way this car handles. The best thing that I've ever done to this. Really? Hands down, yeah. So, as well as being able to slide, what else do you notice? As just, a better... It's just easier to drive, really. really. Like, pulling out of there, it would just unnecessarily spin the wheel. Yeah. Well, it would spin one wheel, basically. Yes, yeah, one tyre, fire. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just more grip. I'm Again, I'm the worst person to explain it, but it's just worth it. Worth it. You can ha it, it, the car feels so much more predictable when you're on the edge, and it's not a bad thing. Like You, you know it's not going to snap on you, which it would do if it's got an open diff. Yeah. Dinora. I mean, yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Has, how much your photo? 
ruined his immortality? <laughs> I don't think so. But let us know what you think. Anyway, but, but thanks for um, nah, no taking problem. me out of the car. I'm glad you enjoyed the 7 Series as well. Oh, mate, unbelievable. Go and check out Luke's video on the 7 Series. Actually, he filmed something with that. I think it's his first time hearing the straight pipes as well. It's so your first time seeing the car at all. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, go and check out his video on that. I'll leave a link on the screen. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this one. Thanks again, Luke, uh, right. for letting me film no your M140i and scaring me. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you very, very soon.